government has been very aggressive at every stage of this pandemic, and this morning is no exception. They have cut off travel to South Africa and five other Southern African nations this morning in light of this new variant. As you said, there is one case of this new variant confirmed here in Israel. It was found in a traveler who had recently returned from Malawi. There are two other suspected cases. All three of those people are in isolation now. All three of them were fully vaccinated. We shouldn't necessarily draw too much from that. We're fully vaccinated. We shouldn't necessarily draw too much from that. And he's suggested that these mutations in the spike protein likely mean that this new variant will turn out to be more transmissible than the Delta variant. We don't know yet, and we probably won't for some time, whether it is more resistant to vaccines. We probably won't know for a while whether it makes people sicker, but the Israeli prime minister is suggesting it is likely to be more transmissible. This statement he put out this morning is really designed to get people's attention. Back. So um, South African researchers held a press conference about this yesterday and really explained what's concerning about this. They identified what they called the, quote, unusual constellation of mutations in this new variant, which right now is known as B.1.1.529, is potentially going to get a Greek letter name from the WHO today, which may be new and new. Um, and what's concerning about that is that there are more than 30 mutations in the spike protein, uh, and some of those are already known to be associated with the potential for increased transmissibility or the potential to evade our immunity from vaccines uh, or natural immunity um, or uh, potentially to get around our antibody drugs. Um, all of this needs to be further researched, uh, and the WHO is saying that we will learn more about this in the coming weeks, really just seeing um, really how it spreads. It's very early days. If you look at the case numbers in South Africa right now, you're just seeing an uptick right. uh, overall that looks very small. So it, it is extremely early. We need to learn more. But the level of alarm about this is higher than anything I've seen since Delta. I mean, I was hearing from a lot. End of flashback. We're fully vaccinated. We shouldn't necessarily draw too much from that.